Can you hear me? I want to be sure okay. you can hear me before we start our class. Can you all hear me? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello. If you can hear me, this is what you do for me. Mute your mic so that you can hear me very well. If you have any other question, if you have any question, you can unmute your mic. But now you can mute your mic so we can continue. Now today I will be working on bald dress. Like I said, today we will be working on bald dress. If you look at what we have for our bald dress, I have a short and clear speech. Is that a ball dress or a gown is a type of evening dress worn to a ball or a formal event. Now, the first stage for you to achieve your ball dress is to jab catch your pattern. The first step here we have jab catch your pattern, your body's pattern, which consists of both back and front. Now, if you look at the ball, this small part of the body, I have my body's pattern, I have my CF and I have my CB. So this is the miniature of my pattern. So if you're making for yourself, you're making a big one. Now we have the miniature pattern. If you look at the miniature pattern, my miniature pattern did not get to the hip level. I started it from the I stopped it from the waist for both back and front. So you can do that or you can do a complete pattern and remove from that part, whatever you want, because you are extending it to a dress. Now step two. The third we said extend the body's pattern to your desired length. Now to your desired length, you are starting from your NP, your front NP. It's always good to start all your measurement from your NP. Now you are taking the measurement now from your NP down to your desired length. How long you want the ball dress to be? Now you are going below the waistline of what you have here. Now to your desired length. After drafting this to your desired length, let's use this one. Let's say this is our desired length of both back and front. Now can you see the board? Now this is the desired length of our dress. Now step three. Then we say shape the body's pattern down to your waist length. Now the shape bodies, like shape bodies we did yesterday, if you are doing the shape bodies for this particular one, you are stopping at the waistline. On your waistline, don't go below the waistline. I repeat, don't shape below the waistline. Shape once you get to your waistline, you stop there. Now, this is what you are doing you are taking the full roundness of your waist, how firm you want it. That is what you are for both CF and CB. Now, the down part you are making a ball dress, don't get it on the down part is a very loose dress. You are getting the loose part of the down part from the waist all the way down. Why? Because the waist up is fitted. Now, step four it's a slash pattern of your bodies from the new waistline. Of both back and front don't forget your bodies you have the new waistline and you have the natural waistline now the new waistline for those with tommy those that have body tommy for, for the new waistline you are going down below 1 cm you can go below 1 cm you can go 1.5 cm but please don't go more than 1.25 cm even for pregnant women don't go below 1.2.5 cm sorry even for pregnant women now once you go down for your new waistline your new waistline look like this Whatever you have for this front here, you're dividing it into two for the side. Let's say we are using one CM for this point here. For the side will be 0 0.5. This other side will be 0 0.5. Then the back, take note, you are not taking anything. It goes like this. Can you see? This is the back, which is the zipper part. You are not taking anything from this side. Now, both sides seem you are taking half of the measurements you have here for your CF point. Then you square across. Now the third we should slash the pattern from our new waistline. Now you're not slashing from your natural waistline, you're slashing from your new waistline below. So after doing that, say join both back and front of the down body's parts of the down body pattern with, with paper tape. This is what you have here. Now this is my CF of the down part. This is my CB of the down part. Now you are joining both side C. This particular part here is a cotton fold. On fold of the pattern. Now you are joining the pattern on both sides. See, from this side and this side with the help of your paper tape. Now the down part will now look like this one piece. After joining, what you'll be getting is just one piece. Now the one piece, now you have this part on fold, you have this side the up and this part the down. Are we together? So before moving forward, let me see if you have any questions so we can move to our next stage. 
Yeah, the fact the fellow said, do slash and spread of the joints down pattern 360 degree. Now this is what you do. Don't forget I said after joining your down part pattern, now you are getting one piece of it like this, which this part is a cotton fold. Now fold this paper so as much as you can so you can get the lines. The lines will be looking like this after folding. There is no particular measurement for me for this. The whole idea is to make sure after folding you slash and spread, you can get a 360 degree. This is a 360 degree circular form. So now you are slashing from the down part to the tip. Please take note, don't cut off. You are slashing from the down part to the tip on every line that you have here. You are slashing, I repeat, from the down part to the tip. Now the pattern will look like this. will look like this now when you have something like this this part is the cotton fold part now your pattern will look like this by the time you make this cotton fold and you open it what you will be getting will be on a circular form like this with one line here which is for the joining which is at the back part of your Skirt. Are we good? Now the next step, the third is if you are making gathers for the down part, do the measurement of your waist times 3 plus 10. If you are not using flare for the down part, you are using gathers. You can use flare, you can use gathers for the down part. Now if you are using gathers for the down part, you don't need to do slash and spread of your paper. What you need to do, you take the waist measurement back and front. Whatever you get, multiply by 3 and add 10 inches to it. Multiply by 3 and add 10 inches to it. Now from that point, you can get your desired length, how long you want it. Then you cut the fabric and do the um, natural, the regular guidance that we used to do. That is for the down part. That is if you don't want to work with the, um, what you call the play. Then the last step we have here, the first we said, use brighter basket or hardness for the ball to be more effective. After joining everything together, don't forget we are sending you the sewing technique. So after joining everything together, for you to make it, for you to make it look stand or look ball, look at look at look at the ball shape, you need to add hard net or basket. If you don't have basket, this is what you do to your other one. The same way you achieve your slash and spread. Is the same way you achieve your what's it called um, hard net. But take note, make sure your hard net is not as long as the down part of your ball dress. So you can be seeing only the ball dress, this is the fabric, but not the hard net. The hard net is inside. You can also double the hard net to make it look more effective. So please, if you have any question, ask your question, or me to make and ask your question. If you have any question, I'll meet your mic and ask your question. Any question? So, I guess we're okay with the class. I will be sending you guys the sewing technique of the ball dress so you can work with what you have there. So, thank you very much. Have a nice day.